This video is entitled Float and is a companion piece to Chapter 8 of the book So You Want to Learn to Use HTML and CSS by James M. Renault, Ph.D. In this video, I'm going to introduce two more styles that we can use for our HTML tags. Uh, the first style is the float style that will allow us to have an HTML tag float either over to the right margin or the left margin. And then the clear style, which tells a uh, which tells an element to wait until the other floats clear before wrapping themselves around a floated element. So float. Remember, you can only do float right or float left, float to the right margin or float to the left margin. And what happens is that all of the elements that follow that element that's been floated will wrap around it, but you can't wrap things that are before it around it. So you've got to be sure that the element is in a place where then the stuff you want wrapped around it will follow it in the HTML. So it, it causes an element to go either to the left or right side and to be floated on the uh, on the screen. Now, you may need to adjust the width of an element because if you're floating like an H1, an H1 takes the whole width of the screen. So if you send it to the right margin, it's already there. If you send it to the left margin, it's already there. Um, so what you need to do is you may have to apply a width to it to make it smaller and then float it. Um, lots of people use floats on navs to create a nav like a menu box and float it over to one side or to take an image and float it over to a margin and have the paragraph or the text wrap around it. It's also really nice to use on asides because, well, an aside is a little aside bit anyway. So float it off to the side and have the text of the article that the aside is in wrap around it. There are three different formats of the clear float, which is clear right, clear left, and clear both. The clear right will tell the element that follows an, a floated element to the right to wait until that floated element is rendered before drawing yourself. So if you've got something that follows the float that you don't want wrapped around the float, you tell it to clear. Clear right clears the right float, clear left clears the left float, and clear both will clear both floats. If you've got an element floating right and left with stuff wrapping around the middle, you can do that and just tell maybe you want your footer to clear both so that if there are any floats left on your page so your footer doesn't wrap around the float so it's nice and distinct. So that would be a place where you would probably use a clear float. But you place a clear on the tag following the floated tag that you don't want to wrap around the float. Now, this example, because it's got floats and, and it has to be a more complex HTML page than a single single. So here's the first half of an HTML page. And let's just talk a little bit about, about it. Notice that there's a header within the within the, the document and it has a nav. And it then has just the word float header inside of header. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to take that nav and we're going to float it off to one side. Um, and then there's a big long paragraph. Let's go on and see the rest of the HTML page. So the HTML page continues with more paragraphs. And then notice there's an aside in there and more paragraphs follow ending the main and then the footer begins and ends with, with, the, with the footer tag. So we've got a header, a main, a footer, we've got an aside, and we're going to float some things around. Let's look at some CSS to make that happen. So there are several tricks here with this CSS. All of them we've talked about prior except the floats. Notice that I take the header nav and float it off to the, off to the right margin. I then put a border left and border bottom around it so that it's got kind of a nice, so that, that that's part of the header, but it's floated up there. And notice how the body starts wrapping around it as, as the, or the main starts wrapping around it as the main is rendered. Also notice that I have a nav A display block because by default, A tags are inline or phrasing elements, but I wanted them to show up one after the other 
in in a in a in a column. So I just say, well, no, display yourself as blocks and see how they display down. I then have my aside and float it to the left and set its width to 5 em. So notice that the aside, the float continues below the text that's going to wrap around the aside. And then C in the footer, I have a clear left to say, don't display the footer until the float on the left is done. So it waited to display the footer, and you can see I put a little margin on top of the footer so that you could tell where the footer text was. So that shows a whole lot of CSS you've seen in prior presentations, all kind of working to create something that looks eh, not too bad, not, not so bad. This concludes the presentation on floats in CSS and Float Clear. I'd like to say thank you for watching. This presentation is copyright 2020 by James M. Renault, Ph.D. All rights are reserved. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial share alike, 4.0 international license. And if you have any comments, critiques, um, suggestions, errors, or anything else, please don't hesitate to contact me at jim at Thank you.